Hey guys, it's Derek the Dragon from Red Dragon Airsoft. Got another video today. First things first, we now have a forum if you don't know. Uh, that is where you'll be able to comment about this video and every other video I've ever made. So go ahead and register in the forum. You have to register to be able to see it. Otherwise guests will be able to comment. And that's the whole reason I switched off of YouTube. So we wouldn't have to deal with the kind of brain dead comments that you get all over YouTube. Uh, but you can all go over there and comment. The comment it, you will not be able to comment on the YouTube, but you can comment on the forum all you want. Much safer place, and you guys are over, overall going to be a lot happier there. Uh, other thing, my older website is still being updated while I work on the new one, so this will be on the website uh, very soon if it isn't already at the latest Wednesday. So let's get going. So this is a chrono of the HFC box cannon, that's what they call it. What this really is, is a Mauser C98 broom handle. Now this one is a uh, non-blowback, but it is the only Mauser C98 out on the market. Um, the only other one is a replica one made by Marushin, and that one is blank, uh, it doesn't fire blanks, but it fires casings, and it's not ideal. Uh, it's full metal construction with real wood grips, which surprised me. A uh, very cool thing about this, now it is non-blowback, so it does have a hard trigger pull. However, this one is not only double action, it is also single action, which is very, very cool, very unique. Uh, the safety works great, which is right here, and overall it's just awesome. Another cool thing is, with the magazine, it holds 30 rounds, but it holds a lot of gas. It has a top piece here, so when you put it in, then when you take it out, sorry I got a street right next to me, then when you take it out you don't lose a few BBs. So that's very cool. Uh, but now that I've kind of gone over it, uh, let's go ahead and fire this thing. Let's see how hard this thing's shooting. Alright, so feet per second. 383, and I gotta say that had a really nice popping sound to it. 383. 428. That's definitely not right. Four two eight. Four two eight. Chrono does not seem to want to be working on me. Sometimes you just gotta move the angle, it doesn't like the sun, because it has rays that go in between it, and if the sun's glaring in, it does not work the best. Three seven eight. Three seven eight. Without killing my hand here. Three seven two. Three nine one. Three seven nine. Three eight five. Three eight three. Three eight four. So this seems to be shooting around the 380, 385 feet per second range, which is definitely respectable. Uh, for a gas gun and it does fluctuate a bit so like I said it went up to 430 feet per second which is way high that's that's gonna hurt when you get shot with that and we are using 0.2 gram BBs by the way um, so that's that's definitely gonna gonna do some damage you're definitely gonna be able to feel that and since this is non blowback it should be a lot more accurate but you'll just have to wait for the accuracy test to see that so that's pretty good. I'm I'm pretty impressed. 385 feet per second to 430. Um, that's pretty good. All right, so it's time to shoot a can. We're about say about 17 feet away. Let's load it up. Pull the hammer back and let's shoot it.
and we are out of EVs. All right, so let's look at the cam. Ugh, there's still some Mountain Dew in here. Um, that's pretty shredded. I was expecting this because this gun is definitely stronger than the other ones. It definitely has more impact, uh, definitely more stopping power, but that shredded. Most of the BBCs you can see just went straight on through it. Um, a few of them bounced off the side when you kind of shot it off to the side, but most of them just straight through it. <laughs> that's a pretty shredded cam. Looks like a dog bit it. Alright, so in conclusion, and pardon the air conditioner, I'm sitting right next to my air conditioning unit, so it's kind of loud. It's about 75 degrees outside today, and it's not too humid. Uh, so this gun could have a better day to work off of. But, back on topic, this is... I would easily recommend this gun. This isn't a new release. It's been out for quite a few years, actually. But, I think it's a gun that it's worth to bring back. It is the only Mauser not C98 broom handle out on the market, really, when it comes straight down to the airsoft terms. I personally myself love this gun, and I know a lot of other people that love it as well. And a good point to make out, uh, a lot of people when they think this gun, they think the full auto versions. There's only about maybe 70% of these guns that had the full auto capability. Um, so most of them were only semi-automatic, so this one works out pretty well for that. And the fact that single and double action uh, really does help out. There's still some gas in here. But um, the fact that it's single and double action really does help a lot. Loosens the trigger pull. On single action, there's almost no trigger pull whatsoever. So overall, this is a pretty recommended gun. Uh, it shoots pretty dang hard, has a lot of impact power, and it, it is pretty accurate. Now, you can't really see that until you get to the accuracy test. But overall, it's definitely a gun worth getting, and especially if you need a Mauser C98, this is really your only choice. Full metal, real wood. Great gun. Very affordable price. I'd overall recommend this one immediately, especially since I love the Mauser C98 broom handle. Alright, so that has been Red Dragon Airsoft Chrono of the HSC Box Cannon, uh, more commonly known as the HSC Mauser C98 broom handle.